Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the fitted cap market, especially here in the late summer of 2022 and some of the things that I've seen start to happen within it. And what I see maybe as a macro trend right now is that some of these relentless releases of custom colorway, side patch, under visor caps is really starting to cool off the market now. And when I say that, it's just because I'm not seeing the kind of rapid sellouts across all these releases at some of the big and small vendors online. And that I'm seeing inventory start to pile up, sizes remain unsold, uh, especially within the large collections. So I'm just seeing sort of a general decline in the rapid sellouts that we saw for much of 2020 and 21. Now, if you've seen a few videos on my channel in the past couple of years from 2020 onwards, I've kind of kept my eye on this trend as we all as fitted cap fans and collectors started to become flooded with all these different cap releases. And uh, for a while it was tough going because it just seemed that there was a certain scarcity of caps because of all the supply chain problems. Things were getting snapped up so quickly. But now I think in 2022, supply has really caught up and overwhelmed demand at this point and that's probably why we're starting to see some of these caps go unsold uh, for longer stretches of time than we've been used to now hat club was one of the most visible vendors of this early on and i would say that there was a lot of smaller vendors driven by a lot of the new york city and that general area selling custom uh, cap colorways with under visors and different patch combinations. They were really on the leading edge of this. And then probably the biggest thing to come online with this entire trend is when LIDS fired up its machine via LIDSHATDROP.COM. You could say that smaller vendors than Hat Club uh, paved the way for LIDS to enter this market. And when they did, they came in kind of late but they came in with full force. So they've released so many collections for all 30 teams, maybe a couple of Cooperstown or historical teams as well. And they have just overwhelmed the market. And I did a separate video on that, but it's been unbelievable to see the pace of releases for all these caps. Now, unfortunately, you had the supply chain issues and this demand that existed prior to this. So prices just kept climbing. Uh, to the point where they were really approaching almost $60 for a fitted cap in one of these releases. Now, I know some people will correct me and say that LIDS access pass discounts extended to the LIDS hat drop. Understand all that, but um, it still was a market trend that the prices kept rising and rising. Now, as we come to the end of the summer of 22 here, uh, this is where we're starting to see inventory sit uh, from new releases on Hat Club, on Lids Hat Drop. Uh, I just don't see the movement that I've seen in the past. Now this probably has a lot to do with the fact that there are so many caps available in this general trend right now that uh, people are starting to get a lot more selective about what they'll spend their money on. Whereas a year or so ago, you were happy to get whatever you could get your hands on um, fighting against uh, sellouts that would happen in less than a minute in most cases. And again, I would say that the collections that have been hit hard are the ones where there's been widespread releases for, you know, every major league team plus some Cooperstown ones. I've seen that especially with the Lids Hat Drop releases of late. And I would say that the only exception to this general rule is that if you are looking for a Houston Astros cap, I think you still got to work pretty hard to get a hold of those because no matter what, the Astros caps seem to defy business gravity on this. So um, I guess there's a lot of rabid Astros fans out there that can't wait to get a hold of an Astros cap no matter what color it comes in. So those keep selling out, but a lot of the other teams are slow moving at this point. Now in these colorways, Hat Club has been going to market with a $55 list price which I don't think is helping them right now. And I'm wondering if we're gonna see that start to crack open a little bit as they sit on these caps for a while. And one of the most curious things is if you pay attention to a release on lidshatdrop.com after the fact, 
Uh, you'll see that some of the caps sell out as they usually did right when Lids HD started. Um, now, some of the caps get a closed tag over the uh, top graphic of the cap online. So that I'm thinking that they just pulled that off of sale. It's not available anymore. And that's a way to uh, restrict and maybe drive out the demand for the caps is if you know the sale is going to be closed, you might be more inclined to buy it when you have the chance. But the number of caps on Lids Hat Drop that have that closed tag on them versus the ones that say sold out has gone way up um, in terms of the proportion of those in the past few weeks. So I can tell that Lids Hat Drop seems to be having trouble moving all of the caps that they're releasing right now. Now, of course, there's not a ton of sales data that I'm looking at. I'm really just observing from uh, when the sellouts happen, how much inventory is still left on the sites. Now, with my own channel, personally, the summer of 2020 and 21 were both periods of high growth for the channel. So really uh, high increases in the number of subscribers, views, everything across the board was up pretty much during that time. I was finding myself and my channel the beneficiary of this, you know, red hot interest in fitted caps. But again, this year, starting in the spring, usually I would see an uptick because baseball season starts, people are interested in caps, start to buy more, they start searching for guidance on fitted caps. I am just not seeing that kind of uptick this summer. Now, to be fair, there are plenty of other contributions to that. So I've thought of a number of those things and either algorithms have become a little bit more unfriendly to me this year. Uh, I would say that there's been an explosion of hat focused channels and content on YouTube since I started doing this. And so I think some of those content creators have been slicing up the fitted pie a little bit. And so that could be contributing to my down, downward trends in my numbers. Um, and then lastly, the pie itself may just be getting smaller as the red hot market for fitted caps that we've seen for two years starts to cool off and decline a little bit. That kind of leads me into the question of where is this all going right now? And I think there's uh, maybe a realization with all these vendors that are making all these caps that making custom colorways, throwing a side patch on it, putting a crazy color under visor on it, it's no longer the form of printing money that they used to be able to count on just in the past two years. Now, because of lead times and supply chain issues, it may take a while for that to work its way through in terms of the supply. So you're still going to see some uh, releases every week and get bombarded by those, but I think eventually it'll start to correct itself. Now, the other thing that I've seen happening is that I believe that some of the vendors think that MLB caps have been mined and exhausted for all these possible colorways. And I've seen vendors such as Hat Club start to turn to other leagues and teams for their fitted uh, ingredients. So Hat Club seems to be coming on strong even within this month of September uh, with a lot of custom NFL releases. And they're following the same general formula with a custom colorway, under visor, side patch of something to do with the history of that NFL club. So it's a little unfortunate, but it just seems that they're turning to the next money-making opportunity. And I think that time will tell if NFL fitteds or even NBA fitteds, which I can tell you don't ever seem to sell that well, um, if those can turn the fortunes and maybe reinvigorate a little bit of interest in what appears to be a decline in the fitted market. I have gone on record many times and said that I feel that side patches are best when they are used in very limited doses, when it's for a special occasion, um, or a commemoration of something. And I have a few patched caps in my collection, of course, but I don't think they need to be on every cap. So maybe we can get out of this mindset that says it's an obligation to have a side patch on every cap. Um, I'm hoping that's where we're headed. They still seem to be very popular with a lot of people. So I'm not sure if anybody's willing to break out and break the formula especially as I see some of the caps without side patches sit a little bit longer uh, still 
than some of the ones with side patches. So that'll be uh, one to watch in the next few months as we close out 2022 here. And maybe the last comment that I would make personally is I, I think I'm okay with all of this because again, I just mentioned how I feel about side patches. Um, I think that there's been so much of a frenzy with caps that has brought in a lot of people into the market that really weren't uh, true believers in the fitted before this. And I think um, it's just become overheated, overhyped. And I know that a lot of the people that tune into this channel to get advice on fitteds will probably stick around through this wave of fitted caps when they're no longer the hottest thing to have. So I think a uh, general calming of the market would be a good thing for those of us that really love the fitted cap and the great design canvas that it provides. That's kind of the way I feel about it. Just wanted to share that after I've seen some of these declining numbers with sales and my own channel numbers. So I really appreciate your time and listening. And I would remind you that in the description below, I've got some of the links to my best videos for making the most of the fitted caps that you own, uh, whether it be stretching, shrinking, shaping, otherwise editing your caps or taking care of them. You can check those out if you're interested in more. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.